everyone and welcome back i hope you're all doing really well so this is just gonna be like a little video that's just documenting like the first phase of applying to art school i'm gonna be sharing with you like little things i've been picking up how i'm staying organized yeah because it can be like super confusing and overwhelming and like yeah i just thought it'd be cool to kind of just like chill with you all and talk so yeah also, I wanted to show you all my outfit because it's so cool today. I'm wearing these pants that I got from Juice. Snoopy pants. I have like a nice fit. I think these are just cute AF. I'm wearing this blue shirt and then this brown gray shirt. And I also styled it with a headband, but I can't find it right now, so also i just wanted to say a huge thank you for all of your amazing love and support on my last q a video i made which was super long and i was like oh my god what am i doing but a lot of you all seem to really enjoy it and then i also wanted to say that i launched my online shop a couple of weeks ago which is so exciting and i also want to thank you all for the support there i am planning a second launch where i'm gonna have like way more affordable um things so yeah but right now i just need to do all of this art school stuff and application and portfolio and after that we're gonna launch so <laughs> I'm kind of that are on my radar at the moment that I'm pl planning to apply to are the University of Arts in Berlin. I'm like so confused about the art schools in Paris, but I'm I'd love to like apply to one in Paris, which the deadline is I think in like three days, so I kind of need to like hurry the fuck up. There's also one in Switzerland in Lausanne. One lovely um, person who saw my Q&A messaged me on Insta DM and told me to check out the art school in Den Haag or Den Haag um, in the Netherlands and it looks so freaking cool so I think I want to apply there as well I also was looking at the Bauhaus University in Weimar because my because Juice was there and she said it like looked so super cool and the town is really chill I already touched on it in the last video, but I'm still really torn between going somewhere that's like a smaller town and that's chill or going to a city. I'm really torn because like on the one hand, like I am going to be spending like at least two years there. Like I might want to do an exchange or something, so I won't be there for a year, but putting down my roots in that city, I'm going to meet so many people there and I'm going to be building a network. So it's like, where do I want to build a network and make connections and know people in the creative field so like a city seems really cool because there's a lot of opportunity um but then again like in smaller towns you never know who's there and it's again like so much more chill and i could still always go to a city in the future or something i don't know like see these are all things that i could play into it you might think like hey don't overthink it which i totally agree but also i feel like it's cool to still look at all the options i just like to think about stuff so just don't mind me okay patients quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis our information is predetermined by some biased business we all in sermon to silicon that push up lovely neighbors i'm done with paper chasing think i'm on the bigger banquets miss that full circle new wave energy on a tuesday turn a blue day to a bright hue yellow with a smooth a in here extra fruit haven brand you can't move me Music is man, it's a con job, but this grand. We're blessed with a great hand amongst many that stink. And yeah, it took some hard work, but blind up play a huge role. And they say that it don't, but they're feeding you fool's gold. I know one thing, the truth. I want to talk about Notion a little bit. I know it's been getting, it's gotten some shit for not like being super safe with your data. I don't know. I'm just like so thankful for 
the ease of its use and i don't have like super extreme private like data on there so i'm like okay with it for now plus i use google so like i'm i'm not one to complain i suppose yeah so basically i'm so proud of this like i made a table where i listed all the schools and then all of the dates like when to apply on their online portal when to send in your portfolio um with the fees and like extra information and that was so helpful just like to like keep my mind at bay and at peace and be like okay so i'm on top of this that table gave me so much peace of mind because like at the beginning of the year i was literally stressing the fuck out i was like oh my god i do not have to shit together like i don't know when to apply i don't know what's required all that stuff then you obviously have the portfolio which is like your key to getting into the school like if they can see that you do good work and you have cool ideas and um i don't know if they just vibe with you and you vibe with them then that's cool and you might get in i kind of did a mix of well i just kind of like looked at the pieces that i already had made like in the last year year or two and then i'm also throwing in a bunch of new things that i'm working on right now things that either need to be finished or that i just feel like are really fresh and cool and i want in my portfolio hello i haven't really talked that much but um good evening <laughs> Uh, just working on this painting for my portfolio um just had a little break time and now i'm gonna go back to work and snack a little bit <laughs> snack time guys oh i thought these were chocolate <laughs> i thought these were chocolate and they're almonds <laughs> i'm so excited though okay hold on where is the chalky oh i know where it's in <laughs> in this drawer. Oh my god, this looks really bad. It's another one of those potato days. Pointers for back and ready to work. And snack, of course. To my surprise, I apparently really love doing sculptures, so I already had like two or three and then the two projects i'm still gonna do are also sculptures so that's going in there and then a lot of photography because uh, photography is just my love and makes up a big part of my body of work so that's going in there oh yeah and then like two or three paintings yeah so i made this like table i like used their table um layout and you can just like put in the projects and like pictures and you can like tap into it and then put in notes so it's like so great to like have a good overview but you can also add extra information i just love like their interface design and just like everything it's so nice to use and then finally to just like stay organized i made a little board with to do's it makes me feel so much at peace that i like see it all laid out and um i try and formulate or verse the tasks in like super simple ways and just like make the tasks look super doable and easily completed wrote out the things i need to order and buy because like y'all get your supplies ready as fast as like as early as you can because you don't want to be one week before submit submitting your portfolio and like something hasn't arrived in the mail yet or you forgot to like order this specific paint or whatever and yeah it's been working really well for me especially in the beginning it was super nice to kind of like organize it lay it out again just like little stress as possible and like now that i'm, I'm working on like three projects so i don't need to check it every day because like i know i just need to finish these projects so that's like basically what i wanted to say for notion i'm definitely still going to be doing a video in late spring where i probably know which school i'm going to and i'll let you know like what worked in my portfolio what didn't work like if i even got in <laughs> yeah and i'm going to be just showing you all like the finished thing so i guess yeah I, this is now me just kind of like trying to heck out a plan or no that's german trying to like figure out a plan trying to see what works and just make the best of everything mm -hmm.
Hey everyone, so I just got back, had lunch, and now I'm just chilling out in bed. Um, just watching some videos and just trying to take it, just trying to take it chill at the moment because there's just something weird in the air right now and I mean, I've just been a bit too harsh on myself so I just want to chill and take it slow and just give myself time and space and yeah just kind of a little pat and be like everything's okay you can just take a little break <laughs> you know what i mean so I want to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel big time over the past few months. Thank you so much to them. If you've never heard of Skillshare before, they're an online learning community where you can find tons of really cool classes for all your creative needs, from photography to drawing to painting to writing. And I want to share this class with you I discovered recently, taught by the amazing illustrator and advocate Danielle Koch. Um, she's amazing, again. And she uses her art to share important messages and ideas on social media and teaches you how to do just that. I feel like when you leave the class, you're just going to come out with so many cool skills. So I haven't taken it yet personally, but I'm really excited to try it out. If you're interested, the first thousand people to use my link in the description can get a free trial of Skillshare. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So check it out. And thanks again to Skillshare. And let's move on with the video. <laughs>
I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. I hope I get everything done on time. Um, that would be amazing. I'm trying to not be stressed but it's still like stressful i think it'd be fine if i didn't get in this year like um i would probably just like keep on working for another year definitely make youtube videos and i don't know i think i'd really enjoy to do like an internship work in like teams and collaborate with people i don't know just like try and build and grow even more um or i would love to work at like a cafe or something but obviously if i get in that would be amazing Oh my god. Bruh. Someone buy me a good fucking tripod. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I wish you all so much luck with your portfolios if you're applying to art school too and otherwise just say good luck with your studies good luck with life you can also follow me on other social platforms like instagram kale pipe it's just the household name you know you can follow me on pinterest and you can also check out um my website for my work which is literally nowhere else like it's on instagram or pinterest or anything it's just on my website where you can see mainly my photography and you can also check out my shop if you're interested but again there is gonna be a new launch in a few weeks so be gentle with yourself be kind to yourself take care um yeah thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you very soon bye